Hello and welcome to the very first Bluecast Bluebullet. The idea of these is these will be short, irregular mini episodes exclusive for YouTube where we discuss anything from movies and trailers that have just been released to why James hates mayonnaise so much. Oh please, yeah, we've got to do a special one for that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that another time. But yeah, a couple no. of days ago, but yeah, a couple of days ago at the time of, that we were recording this. A new trailer has just come out for The Matrix Resurrections, the latest in the Matrix series. And we thought this would be a good topic to discuss on our very first Blue Blit. So let's get on with it. Um, so how do we want... So we've all watched this trailer. Um, mm -hmm. I thought, personally, it looked pretty damn awesome. Um, I mean, it's got a lot of action going on. It's got references to the original movie. It's got a lot of promise. I got very deep Inception vibes from it. Um, but what do you guys think? Like, uh, I I'm quite impressed. Um, yeah, I think it's it looks intriguing to me. I like that everything's kind of more vague with regards to what's going on. Mm. It doesn't really tell us too much about the plot of the movie because not most trailers nowadays they pretty much show you like like the whole movie's plot like in the whole trailer. Because I remember watching the trailer for was it Free Guy and watching yeah. that. And, I was, and when, I, when I watched the like the movie, it was basically kind of mostly an extended version of the trailer. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I, I think it's very uh, exciting and reassuring. That it's called uh, Resurrections because, as we all know, uh, every film that has resurrection at the end of the name is the best one of the series. No. Like, Alien Resurrection. <laughs> oh god, there's gonna be a. Um, I knew this is gonna come up. You know what I want to see from this movie? I want the climax to be Neo fighting a weird hybrid clone of um, Neo and Smith. That's how I want this movie to end. So that one half of him is like Mr. Anderson, and, uh, and then the other half is Agent Smith. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> no, I, I think I think I think the fourth film in a series with the title Resurrection in it, you know, that's when you're up for a, a good time. That's when it's going to go really weird uh, in um, a good way. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm excited. Maybe, <laughs> maybe Batman and Robin should be called Batman and Robin Resurrection. Uh, yeah, they missed a the trick there. Well, yeah, was... then it might have actually been watchable. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's one thing. Um, Neo's alive. But appears to have like no memory of the Matrix. Mm. I think that's an interesting angle to take. But he still seems to have some kind of repressed memories because he's having dreams about it. Um, I I don't want to go like too I don't want to go too deep into like theories because a lot of with a lot mm. of these movies and like people will over theorize. They come up with all these theories and then when the movie comes out and their theories are wrong, they start they act like it's a personal attack on them. Yeah, it's true. And and, uh, and they start raging about it. Mm. But yeah, I'm excited to and see feel, about how it's possible. I think people are going to be angry no matter what. You know, it might be the best movie ever made, but there'll still be people out there looking for outrage clicks, you know. It's like that tweet um, I shared with you, like, with that guy who's saying, like, oh, I can already predict already. Here's the thumbnails of all the commentary channels oh, discussing yeah, the Matrix. Yeah. Uh, anybody? Like, there's, a, there's a lady with blue hair in this, and that's already, like, angered a certain subclass of idiots online. They do realise um, that these movies are, like, made by, like, two trans women, don't they? Yeah, they know that, but they they choose to ignore it. These are the same people who've turned red pill into like a fascist, like you know, talking point. Uh, you no, know, that's all. That's all from the Matrix, the red pill. Like, yeah. So. Speaking <laughs> of pills, there is a bit where they actually re refer to the blue pills. He's cast casting them away into his sink. So there's something mm. going on. Something's uh, going on there. Again, I won't go into the theories, but like, there's a lot. Of References to the old original movie, like down the rabbit hole, and you see a book of Alice in Wonderland there, and um, Alice in Wonderland, yeah. Mm. And there seems They're to be like a white, new white version rabbit. of the Oracle mm. as well. Mm. 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 There's these little kind of throwbacks to the original movies, which I think again, you know, it's nostalgic. Mm. I'm a bit half and half yeah. about it. It seems that. A little bit of it sort of it felt nostalgia for, oh, great, they're going back to their roots. But also a part of it felt very fan fiction-y to me. It's like, oh, look at the blue pills here. And, oh, my God, that reference yeah. to Alice in Wonderland. Wow, this is like the real original Matrix. But kind of, I don't know, it felt a bit that is, mm. Yeah, that's one thing that is kind of worrying you a bit. Because it, based on the trade, it looks like it's going down the soft reboot route. Which yeah. I think it's a fine angle to take, depending on how it's handled. Like, it's a good way to get everyone back on board. Because um, I know you two, 
you like two and three. I've not seen them in years, but a lot of people don't like two and three. Uh, so it's a good way to get them back. And, and also for newcomers to jump in without yeah. too much context, which is one of my uh, uh, issues with the MCU, as you need to watch like loads of movies to understand oh. the, like, the latest ones coming out. Mm. However, what I'm hoping this movie is more than just like basically the first movie, but redone. To be fair, yeah. Rob, you make a good point, because The Matrix, as a franchise as a whole, is very self-contained, despite having this kind of vast universe with loads of stories. Do you know how much media that actually exists for The Matrix in total? That's, yeah. like, official. It's I... literally three movies so far, along with this fourth movie, two comics, uh, an anime, and a video game, and that's it. That's, like, all the sort of additional fluff. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, that's one thing I wanted to bring up, because... Um... One thing I find the most intriguing about the Matrix as a franchise is all the supplementary material kind of somehow ties into it. Because like, mm. you can obviously just stick to the movie. You can understand what's going on. But then there's also the comic books, the Animatrix, and a couple of video games. Absolutely. And one point that's relevant is, of course, um, after the movies, there was the Matrix Online. Mm, yeah, that was An that. MMO which actually continued the story after Revelations. Mm. Not Revela yeah, it was Revelations. But uh, I'm wondering if the events of the MMO will be considered canon or if the movie will ignore all the story elements that were used in the MMO. I, 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 wouldn't, be mm. I wouldn't be surprised if they mm. did, but as there seems to be a big time gap between this movie and the last one, they could still kind of, maybe not even address it, but kind of... I don't know how you could retcon Reloaded and Revolutions. There's There's just too much in them to ignore and just pretend like i don't know i don't think you can do that i do think you would need to build on what they did with those films and i also don't think that uh lana wakowski would want to go back and retcon those films so i know I, I i i'm excited because i think they are actually building on the sequels and it's not just going to be like a love fest for the first film that everyone loves mm. You know? mm. Like they are actually building on, as you said, James. Yeah. They're building on the on the mythology and the story. One, yeah. Cause I mean, well, I know we do try and kind of avoid talking about this topic in particular because it just it causes the whole internet to explode. But yeah. um, that was the thing with the Force Awakens because although people have come around more more of them now, when they came out, everyone hated the prequel. So um, obviously, the Force Awakens was a reaction to that. It was kind of like. Oh, look how great the original trilogy is, that kind of thing. So it's more of kind of a nostalgia a trip than a um, story, as it were. Mm. Even though I do like it, I, I can't deny that. Yeah. One thing that worries me a little bit is that the original Matrix trilogy was made by both the Wachowski sisters. Yeah. Um, there's only one on board this time, which is a little bit... I mean, maybe that yeah, could I, be good. I, Lily's not keen on it because she feels like, you know, the... It's it's finished, right? Yeah. You know, and it's it's and it's like no. So I do I do get that kind of nervousness around this, like oh, you know, is this just kind of yeah, nostalgia cash grab mm. and like you know, because like they originally felt that it was finished. They they told the story. They've moved on now. Um, so I do really hope that they are genuinely coming into this, or you know, or that Lana's coming into this with genuine like you know like an intent to actually tell a new story and and continue the story of Neo and, and Trinity, it's, it, it appears to be, mm. uh, in the yeah, trailer. Yeah, because there is um, a, a Morpheus-like figure in this trailer. Yeah. Uh, but it's not yeah, Lawrence no, Fishburne. No Morpheus, though. I don't know what's, what's going on. Why, where is Morpheus? You know? That's what I was wondering. Um, um, yeah. Maybe you, like, show up at the end of the film or something, like, as a post credit scene, I don't know. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Oh, but... I don't know. I think I have my own theory about all of it. But I, I don't know if we want to go into it. No, um, but one thing I... Yeah, well, I've got theories as well. I'm kind of trying to keep them back a little bit. But one thing I am a bit worried about is, as you correctly said, you and, like, you know, with the directors being a bit concerned about continuing the story and that it might be finished. I do kind of worry about that because the first three Matrix movie do tell a very good beginning-to-end story. I'm satisfied with the ending of the story, admittedly. Yeah. I, I like that... Basically, the main villain is defeated, um, the Matrix is shut down, the fate of the hero is bittersweet, and we don't know where exactly that's gone. Um, the there Matrix is... Didn't, it didn't really get shut down, it got recreated. Got recreated, but there's yeah. a, the truce, isn't there, between the yeah, uh, yeah, robots. Was... And yeah. so it, it's like the idea that there is a peace now, the war is over. Um, yeah. 
I don't know. I thought that was quite. It, I was quite happy to leave it there. I watched that. I thought that was a good yeah. story. Um, Although, mm. to be fair, the the, the ending did kind of leave it, it a little open ended to the idea that maybe the truce wouldn't last. So that is something that this, is this film could be building. And that on, is which what case, happened. Great. Mm. Yeah, that is what happened in The Matrix Online. I mean, I'm not too familiar with the story, but basically, you think the machines and the humans, the war sided up again, and Morpheus became obsessed with finding Neo because they never found his body, so he was convinced that Neo was still alive somewhere. I read somewhere that uh, Neo actually never appears in the game just in case they needed to make another sequel, which I thought was quite funny. Mm. Um, Very good. Yeah, so yeah, but no, um, mm. yeah, so I'm excited. Um, I think you know it's yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a very transitive excitement. I need, excitement. Yeah. I, I need yeah. to rewatch two and three myself. Same here. It made me want because to, I haven't yeah. seen them since I was seventeen. But, but but yeah, I've recently bought the Blu-ray box set, and I'm excited to watch through all three films. So I watched the first one again, I think last year, just before, just literally weeks before COVID hit, and I remember thinking, oh, it's fun. I can't because not a lot of people take this movie really seriously. Yeah. But I'm like, this is a kind of like a just an action movie. It's a blast. Absolutely. I mean, it's not shy of like serious moments. Absolutely. Like you know, there's a lot of philosophy and stuff like that. But the bo- whole bulk of it is got wrapped up in a very dumb, fun package of action, yeah. I would say, and uh, a very anime-ish. Like the, the Rokowskis are big anime fans, and it shows massively. It's like the, I will go as far as to say that the Matrix movies are the most anime live-action movies I've ever seen in my life. They're more anime than animes. <laughs> they're, they're definitely the best, ad- well, not adaptations, but, you know, like in terms of um, a kind of anime style live action thing, yeah. they're definitely up there as being better mm. than most live action attempts. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, we'll, we'll see how Cal- Michelle has we'll been quickly forgotten. You know. See how Cal we be, what it turns out, because I'm actually kind of excited for that. Mm. Yeah, no, I think it's, uh, I'm excited. Um, it's it's kind of we've got some refreshing films coming out and uh, yeah uh, it's nice to have a little break from Star Wars to have a bit and of, Marvel yeah. and Marvel and in DC just, you know um, so yeah although I love the Suicide Squads but and I'm excited for the Batman to be fair DC is still new and I'm, and then, and it was it still kind of feels refreshing to me it's not like the MCU cause the MCU has like got 26 plus movies now and TV shows that I feel quite exhausted with it whereas the DC it's only like seven movies or something like that. I don't know. But yeah. And plus a kind of um, kind of soft rebooting it all after Snyder's gone. It's all self-contained, yeah, so you don't Which have to... is probably the best move. <laughs> yeah, like to watch the new Batman movie, you won't have to have watched like three other unrelated Aquaman movies or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I, I think that's pretty much wraps it up. I've, I've, that's all my notes done. Yeah. There's, there's a, uh, Keanu Reeves has a rubber ducky. Oh, yes. uh, we and he's bought in the John Wick can't, more John Wick pulse style hair and yeah. he's got his beard I was just about to say mm. we haven't even touched upon Keanu Reeves wow um, yeah Keanu Reeves he's... makes everything better so that's another reason to watch <laughs> this film it's exciting I think that I've always said you know he he's kind of part of like three generations of people's lives you know with bill and ted and then the, the matrix and the, and and um john wick, john wick yeah. it's kind of cool that he's now recently done another bill and ted film and and now he's doing this so it, it, it all kind of comes together in 20 years and, time he'll do a john wick reboot and he's also in um, a version of much to do about enough Thing. I think that's the name of it, but the Shakespeare play, which I remember watching on DVD in school, because that was what I was doing for my sats that year. Oh yeah, <laughs> I need to give that a watch actually. But yeah, no, he, play, he plays Jonathan Harker in uh, in the Bram Stoker's Dracula, and he has an amazing British accent, uh, which oh. I recommend everyone check out. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting. Um, one thing I will say, um, kind of moving. Um, if you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and haven't been following us on any other kind of social media, you have probably missed our last eight or so episodes. So I recommend checking out our SoundCloud and our like Spotify, Apple Podcasts if you want to check out those episodes while we patiently wait for the videos to come on. I know they've taken a while, but yeah, they take a lot of work. All right. Very cool. Thank you Thank for you. listening. Um, and do I say anything? Hi, you? everyone. Um, stay tuned for our next episode on she ra which should be with you by the end of the month. And yeah. I hope this has been good to tide you over. Until then. 
Very cool. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.